Okay. Hello, right, folks. What a nightmare. So, we've had dramas with the little Max Nano. Even these little tanks can cause you a big, big headache uh, if you're not careful. So, just want to try and do this video real quick. But what's happened is, um, was doing my normal feeding, my third feed of the day, about nine o'clock in the evening. And uh, what I do is I push the feed button on the JCOD return pump. And when I went to put it back on again after about five or six minutes, I mean, it comes back on after about 10 minutes on its own, but sometimes I override it, push feed again, and it comes back on again. What happens, it didn't come back on, all the lights on the front of the controller are all going, look like a disco effect, all flashing and stuff, but oh no, the controller's, the controller's gone wrong. It's the first one I've had, they're always really uh, reliable, these J-Coil or J-Bow turn pumps or wave pumps. I've been really lucky with them. Um, this is why I run it, but obviously this time, this what I, you know, my luck's run out and the controller's gone stuff. Uh, for, let's, have a, let's have a look at the, the return pump anyway, to see if there's anything clogging it or anything. And no, it was, uh, had it all out and uh, it was, um, I think it's, it's, there's a little bit of carbon build up in there, but so much so that I couldn't just quickly free it up. It needed to have a vinegar, a running vinegar for a few hours. I uh, thought, I'm not doing all that now. Let's dig out the stock return pump from the cupboard that come with the tank. Let's get that on there and deal with it in the morning. Uh, but as I'm in there, I'm up a little mini ladder here, and I'm in there, and it's quite tight in the rear sump here to get your hands in, especially if you've got biggish hands. As I'm messing about with the pump, getting it out and putting the new one in, I'm up the ladder and all of a sudden I look down and there's a river, no word of a lie, a river of water flowing out the cabinet. Of course, panic, you panic, panic, panic. Whoa, where, where's the water coming from? I thought I'd ruptured a seal in the back of the sun. I thought the tank was leaking, I just didn't know. You know when it's, something happens, you panic, you just can't think straight. I was like, oh my God. I quickly went upstairs, woke my boy up. He was in bed, 10 o'clock at night. Been in bed, I sleep about half hour. I said, get up, get up, I need to help me up downstairs with towels because the, the, the carpet was going dark. Lots of water was dropping. I was thinking, where's it coming from? Pulling all leads out of the back. I thought, at first, I thought, it must be my dose. I've put a new dosing system on this. I've actually got my dosing set up now. I thought maybe because we're, it's back siphoned or something to the doser, I and mean, I've got, uh, an RO top up here with my Tonsy Osmolator. I'm thinking maybe something's gone wrong with that. Looks at the, the top up tank. I thought, oh yeah, the, the tank is empty. And then and in closer inspection, I opened, opened the lid and it was actually full. What happened is I didn't switch off the Tunzi uh, Osmolator top up sensor. And it come on a little bit, so it dangling out the tank, so it all out whilst it's doing the pump. And um, yeah, it basically back siphoned. I'd had the pipe, it come on and off again, so I thought oh, I'd better turn that off. So I turned it off. Of course, the pipe was still in the bloody water. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. It pulled salt water from the main display back into the, 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 the top up tank and overfilled it. And that's where it all come in. Probably about 10 litres of water all the way out of the carpet. What an absolute nightmare. Oh my God. So I soaked most of it up with the towels, sponges, for a couple of hours. Got most of it cleaned up. I deal with it in the morning with hair dryers and heaters and stuff. Um, and we get the, uh, try and get the other pump running as well. But yeah, nightmare. But I did manage, to, on a good note, I did manage to get the, uh, the J-Cod uh, return pump back running again. It was just so much calcium carbonate all uh, built up around the, mag the, um, the shaft and everything, the ceramic shaft. So, Three or four hour running vinegar, I sorted that out and we're back up and running with it, so that's good. So I'm trying to get this video short and sweet, I'm just going to quickly show you my new dosing system. Finally, finally, finally got a dosing system on, that's why I haven't done a video for a while because I haven't got any stock, any, any new corals in, because we've been waiting to get this, uh, this doser online. Um, to get our alkalinity nice and stable, we've been able to manually dose it two or three times a day, it's just the outcome has been a bit swingy. Um, Having said that, all the corals the that I have got in here have done really well. They've, uh, they've definitely got some good growth uh, on the stylo and the, the uh, barley slimer. Um, yeah, I'll quickly show you this in the, uh, the cabinet here, show you the little dosing system. I'm going to do a full update next week. 
full reef update. I think it'll be the four month jobby next week. And we're going to full detail with everything I've got running on the system. There's a few other bits I need to buy for it, but um, I think we're near enough there. I've got some corals coming tomorrow as well, being delivered. My boys ordered some, uh, some more corals for his tank. So I thought I'd uh, pop on a few SPS corals onto the list as well. So right, I just uh, put the camera off the tripod and give you a little look. Okay, so that looks pretty smart, doesn't it? We've got uh, our TMC Easy Dose, three channel doser. I had one of these before on my reefer, Red Sea Reefer 250. Really reliable, easy to program. I wasn't initially going to be going, uh, you know, wanted to go for this this, this one. I was going to go for uh, the Aquamedic Reef Doser 4, Evo 4, with the external display. But there's big issues with the reliability with that at the moment. So uh, we went for this one <clears throat> with the three chamber, three dosing chambers. And this tank I've got is a 25 litre aquarium that I purchased, glass aquarium for my RO top up underneath. So I think it looks all pretty smart. Nice and neat and tidy. And up the top, we've got all of our dosing manifold here. So you've got alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, and this is. Uh, this is our RA top up from the Tunzi Ospilator. All nice and neat and tidy. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap the video up. Just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on. What a nightmare. And uh, I'll catch you next week for a reef update. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.